Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a general collective reading for the 17th of January 2024, Wednesday. But it might resonate whenever you come across this video, guys. It is a general reading. It's not gender specific. Please switch the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation. Right, guys. So let's see. In case you feel guided to reach out to me, all my details are given below in the description box, guys, okay? Right, so let's see, what is the theme? I'll be getting one message card today as the main theme. This could be your energy, this could be your person's energy, something that your person really wants you to know at this time. This will give you some idea. On this person's energy at this time let's see so what energy for the 17th of January please let's see okay we have I want to marry you what I want to marry you I wish you would talk to me hmm <clears throat> So this is somebody you are not speaking with currently. This person has marriage on their mind. It just blew my mind. Hey, my mind is blown away. I wish you would talk to me has come again. Yeah, this person really wants to talk to you. They're wishing that you would talk to them. Okay, let's get one more card. Okay, we have I do not miss you. Hmm. So on one on one side, it could be your energy. <laughs> you don't miss this person anymore, right? Perhaps in the past this there was an energy here where both these people wanted to be together, both of them wanted to marry each other. <clears throat> now it's like perhaps you don't miss them at all and this person is just constantly wishing that you would talk to them okay so i get negative vibes from you right so this is somebody perhaps like you have a somewhat negative perspective about this person or whatever happened in the past you have developed that negative perspective uh, perspective about this person whatever they did right so perhaps this person also wants to say sorry about that they want to make things right but basically the core energy here is them wanting to marry you right so let's see let's get let's get some more idea here what is happening on the 17th of january okay nine of swords yeah something ended here then we have the wheel moving towards the justice <clears throat> right so uh, hmm. And we have the seven of coins, seven of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, and the nine of swords. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the three of coins, three of pentacles. So this, this, this could be somebody that perhaps you met in a workplace. This could be a colleague for some of you, right? Right, so, yes, yeah, see, the wheel moving towards justice. No, you have seen some kind of a truth about this person. Something has come to light for you about this person. Some kind of a very strong, it's like the divine has spoken to you <clears throat> that this is not for you. Okay, so there, there's an energy here where you are fixed that you will not give this person another chance. Even though they're really looking towards a long-term future with you now, okay, but you have developed this, this perspective here 
that, she, that like, like this is not for you okay so something has been shown to you um, either currently it is being shown to you through signs or synchronicity something really strong that's in your face kind of a um, you know sign or something has has been shown to you in the recent past and you have like you have a very fixed mindset about this that this is not something that you want for yourself so you have ended something here okay this person might have felt very shocked that you have ended things with them like they were shocked um, it might have really hurt them it might have really hurt their pride and ego like they just didn't know what to do now after you ended ended things with them um, perhaps there was some kind of a bitterness or, or hostility even coming from your side um, and it's I'm not saying that you are that kind of a person this person might have done something like that but it has been shown to you that this is not for you okay so you have a very fixed mindset so seven of pentacles here very soon i'm not sure um some of you you could be a single mother right you could be single you could have you you could be a single mother you could have a girl child right not necessary though so um i'm not sure if you are this could be an ex-husband for some of you so some, some of you you could be filing for a divorce or for others of you, you are really planning to move forward in your life. You could be signing a new contract work-wise. Or there's an energy here of organizing and structuring your life, right? Just really planning and strategizing on how you will move forward, what next steps you'll be taking, right? So there's that energy here. Um, it's it's almost like that you are so busy in yourself, like you're so um, so engaged within yourself in your life that you have just completely moved on, or you have just completely stopped talking to this person. This person wishes that you'll talk to them. Okay, right. So <laughs> okay, let, let's see. Let's get some tarot here. What, what's happening here, please? What's the energy? Um, so th this is the, the core energy here, right? But it's not necessary that the whole reading is going to be based upon this reading. This could be one part of the reading. Um, the other cards could bring up some other reading. Uh, I'm sorry, some other energy. So because this is a general reading, guys, okay? In case you, uh, you want some deeper de um, or deeper insights into your own situation please do feel free to reach out to me right for a personal reading um, it really helps you understand your own situation because the guidance um, and everything is very customized to your own situation that way but anyway let's see so what messages for the 17th of january please Okay, we have death yeah something has ended Scorpio energy five of swords eight of swords six of cups Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands in the reverse. Okay. So I feel a cycle of manipulation, feeling very mentally conflicted, feeling very helpless. That has come to an end. Somebody has, like, somebody has. Whoever this person is, it's like, I'm giving up. I don't want to do this anymore. I feel helpless. I am tired of missing my person, right? So, so this person here, they could be missing you severely at this time. And it's it's almost like, I don't know what to do about it. I'm, I'm sick and tired of missing this person. I'm sick and tired of self-sabotaging of confusing myself of telling myself that i don't want anything to do with them with you right this person could be thinking that to themselves 
So there's that energy here, like, okay, fine, enough, I give up. I want to talk to my person. I want, um, like, I really want this person. I, I just miss them so much. This could be a very strong soulmate, perhaps somebody you've had a past life with. Okay, now this person could be completely different from what we were picking in the earlier cards. So just take it how it resonates. Two of Wands in the reverse, right? I feel this person has given up someone to be with you. Um, yeah, because for a very long time they were dilly dallying. I don't know why I got that word dilly, dilly dallying right not being able to decide um but i think they are dropping someone like it's it's enough they don't want to be with that person anymore it's they're they're leaving someone behind here yeah this person is leaving someone behind perhaps because they want to be with you and it, it's like they're leaving them it's not like they're still thinking about it or you know trying to make a dis i think they are leaving it behind <clears throat> okay let's see what else five of wands eight of pentacles in the reverse karma judgment we have four of cups, the sun, and page of pentacles. All right, so a new opportunity is about to arrive. This could be some kind of an offer. This could be clarity coming in, what somebody needs to do here. Um, remember how we were picking up on you organizing and structuring your next steps how to move forward so whatever you are doing here the strategy the strategizing the structuring organizing right planning whatever um yeah it, it's going to bring you a lot of clarity it's also opening up doors of opportunities for you so don't be surprised if new offers um, if new employment offers or something like that starts showing up in your life okay so whatever you are doing currently might not be really um satisfactory for you work-wise so karma here is telling me that good karma is on your side something extraordinary is about to happen you are about to get another chance so new opportunities could be coming your way within the next one month i feel um so yeah so uh, in that case if this is your energy you will be leaving behind a previous job or some kind of a legal contract work contract something like that behind you'll have to leave that behind in order for this thing to come come in for you um, in the recent past somebody could ha could have experienced uh, experienced um, some kind of of a ego clash or gossip some some conflict at workplace um, which might have made someone really lose focus and concentration um, whoever this person is they might have started like really it's not like really putting your heart into the work it's like i just want to finish this and i just want to go home so just doing everything very quickly not really focusing on the quality of work but just trying to get as much as they can uh, right just trying to remove things from their plate so a very um, like very uh, it's like a very urgent kind of an energy i just want to finish this and i, I just want to go home right something like that um and it could have happened because there was some negativity in the workplace and you were just not feeling up to it like you don't want to be around that energy so something like that might have happened uh, but don't worry keep organizing keep planning because good karma is definitely on your side here um, it, it's almost like a new chance is being given to you. <laughs> Let's see what else. Two of swords in the... Yeah, so 
make sure you're not blocking this new opportunity okay i i don't see you blocking it but it might be a little bit vague uh, at first it, it might feel like that you know it, it might feel not very clear at first initially okay so be open be, be open to new things be open to change is what i'm getting here queen of wands yeah see the queen of wands she pursues her dreams she's not afraid to step up into her power and she she has brilliant ideas she is inspiring right she takes action towards what she wants oh wow ace of pentacles oh my goodness knight of cups so here comes an offer let's see why is the knight of cups here hmm the hermit so somebody some someone who has been deranged from you like somebody who has been keeping away from you could be returning could be coming up with an offer very soon oh it, it, it looks like a breakthrough like this whoever this person is this this could be a younger person but somebody who has matured in this period of separation from you right so this could be the earlier person that 16 16 on my timer guys so i don't know if 16 number 16 has some significance um but yes this is this is somebody who could be younger but they have matured this person could be uh, the person that we were picking up on um in the earlier cards right but they could also be some somebody who's who's different wow page of wands yeah you're about to hear from them four of swords page of swords this person is spying on you secretly i won't be surprised if they are spying on your social media from a fake account or an unknown account i won't be surprised but they are definitely looking at you they're trying to understand what your life is right now they're really trying to study you but they're doing it in silence in secret if you have a lot of admirers on social media this person is definitely angry about it they don't like it okay knight of pentacles in the reverse we have the hanged man in the reverse three of a lot of delays lots of delays here Okay, so we have the sun and the moon, but not coming together. Um, I'm getting this as a soulmate situation for some of you. Nine of swords. Right, so this person could also be delaying coming towards you, or all this time they have delayed approaching you. Um, because there's a lot of pride and, like, they're afraid. <laughs> they're afraid of some secret. They're afraid that something that they have been trying to... Oh, okay. You know what, guys? This person has a dark side to them. Okay. Um, and this, this is somebody who's very stubborn. Like, it doesn't matter how much you try to negotiate or how much you try, try to talk to them to, to try and make them understand about something about your perspective. This is somebody who has a very fixed mindset okay um so i'm not sure if this is what if this is the initial person in the earlier cards i don't know because you know you know your side was coming up as very fixed you have a very negative perspective about this person so i'm not sure if that if that's what drove you to become like this because this person is also like that they have a very fixed mindset they, they're not easy to just really understand what's going on with the other person right so perhaps that made you a little bit um, bitter or angry towards them and perhaps that's that that's why you are also now like that okay but basically you're just trying to um, give them a taste of their own medicine okay so which is i think which is fine because not everybody is deserving of our kindness and patience 
people test our patience a lot and I do understand it. So perhaps that is what might have happened here. But now this person is like, they're afraid, okay? They do have a dark, dark side here. They could be very um, opportunist kind of a person, right? Um, they could have a very wild side to them. Or it's just like, they have a dark secret and they don't want you to know. They're very afraid that if you find out like some something will something bad will happen let let's see what is this talking about hmm, you'll start fighting them they're afraid that you'll start fighting them okay you could be a very daring person here it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man you could be somebody who just can't take anything wrong like you can't tolerate anything wrong you will stand up you will speak up it doesn't matter if it's happening to you or if it's happening to someone else around you you'll always speak up you'll always stand up and try to defend right you do what's right and you have that personality like really fiery queen of wands nine of wands you have that fiery 21 12 on the timer Right, so something could be happening around the 20th or the 21st of January. You know what? Because Pluto is re-entering Aquarius. And this is the time when big, powerful people who consider themselves very powerful, rich, I don't know what, some dark secrets are going to be exposed about the, these people, these organizations, right mass like it's like a mass revelation because pluto in aquarius is a very revealing energy so i don't know if that is what is exactly happening and it's making this person crazy scared because you are about to find out something about them or it's just generally it could be that they're afraid that you will not take any bullshit you're not afraid to stand up and fight you you could have a very fiery temper this person is afraid that if you find out about them whatever they're trying to hide it's going to cause some hostility so they have been delaying like purposefully delaying approaching you um, it could also be that this person has a lot of pride and they don't want to come off as somebody who's struggling financially. So they're delaying approaching you until and unless they, they make sure that their finances are in place. Right? Okay. Hmm. We have the High Priest. The King of Cups in the reverse. Okay, six of pentacles in the reverse, five of cups in the reverse, four of pentacles, ace of cups, wow, ten of cups, oh my goodness, so there's a new love situation here guys. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Now, this could literally be somebody new that's coming towards you very soon, within the next one month, I think. Okay. Yeah. Or it could be around Taurus season, which is April, May. So, within the next four months, one to four months, I feel, that, that there could be a new love situation happening for you right and like this is divinely this is a divine situation i feel divine is encouraging you to move forward with this new situation it's going to be very emotionally and sexually invigorating i must remind you 
okay so this is like you meet somebody you feel that spark you 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 know your emotions are just stirred and it's it's very mutual i think it's not just for you this is a mutual thing it is divinely sent for some of you this could even be your divine counterpart this new person that could be coming in right could be a divine counterpart another soulmate or for for some of you this could even be a twin flame this new person that's coming in you don't see this coming perhaps right so in the meanwhile i i feel whoever this person is that you are already dealing with who has been delaying coming towards you is feeling very jealous because you're not giving them any effort or energy this could be, this is like depressed energy this person is depressed right now this could even be an ex-husband that you have already um, separated or divorced or this could be this other person who could be younger but who has really matured in this time of non-communication or separation so whoever this masculine is they're very jealous and upset that you're not giving them any time anymore you're not talking to them or they could they're very jealous that there are other people around you okay hmm four of pentacles let's see why is the four of pentacles here right so for some of you this uh, six of pentacles and the four of, so this could be that perhaps right now um if you were aiming for some loans or some some kind of a financial help from somebody like this it might not happen right now this might not be the right time if you were waiting for a loan from a bank or from from some you know from somebody it, it might not happen um, because this is not the right time okay it, it's just for for now it might happen next month or within a couple of months but um it's not permanent so this is the time you save money, right? You save, you structure, you organize, and you keep moving forward. Don't be discouraged that your finances are not moving as you were expecting or hoping. It's just the energies. Believe me, planetary transits really affect all this, okay? So perhaps today it's not happening. Perhaps, uh, you know, by next month everything is started you know it starts working in your favor because boom jupiter is in uh, dash 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 boom venus is in this 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 in this sign right jupiter is in that sign so boom everything is started has started working for you and you are amazed oh my goodness last month it was not happening now this month it's all happening it's because jupiter and venus are doing something right it, it's it's always like that guys so don't really worry about it um there are some remedies actually to make your venus and jupiter strong um indian culture hindu religion uh, they, uh, you know we really believe in all that and we have like remedies to make your venus and jupiter strong in your birth chart how can you make it strong because venus and jupiter they they gift you with abundance and prosperity with relationships right luxuries and everything so there are some remedies to make it strong um so yeah <laughs> But that's that's a different reading. I won't go into that right now. So yeah, so there's there's an energy here where you will perhaps need to save some money this month, but it will start working out in your favor soon. And the other scenario here is that this person is very upset and jealous that you're not giving them any time. You're not talking. You are perhaps giving your energy to other people so that that's sparking that jealousy within them okay i'm also seeing a new love situation which could be coming towards you by this taurus season april or may 2024 so buckle up be open perhaps you're not seeing it right now but it's coming i think this is definitely somebody new you somebody you don't know yet okay right so let's get some other messages from this person anything else for the 17th i gossip about you behind your back
okay. So see, I told you there is some gossip or something going on at your workplace. So if you thought that are people really talking about me, I'm not sure, they are. Okay, your intuition is right. Let's see, any messages from this person here? You're so damn beautiful. I'm Ovi. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to manifest you. Okay. This person here, this younger person whom you're not talking with, they find you extremely beautiful. I think they have tried to get over you, but they can't. They're thinking about you constantly. They're basically manifesting you. I'm afraid of love. I tried forgetting you, but I can't. See, I told you just now I said that. They tried forgetting you, but they can't. In fact, the more they try and forget you, the more they're thinking about you, the more they're manifesting you. I have never respected anyone like I respect you. See, I told you, you have that fiery energy. Fearsome, like, it's like, that's not fearsome, sorry. Um, fierce energy. And you fight. You are not afraid to speak your mind. You stand up and fight for what's right. This person adores that. They respect it. Really. I have walls around my heart ever since it was lost, broken. Hmm. I'm not coming back. I tried to copy you. Okay, one last card. I cry over you. I'm dying to hear your voice. See, I feel somebody here is really wanting to talk to you, but you don't talk to them anymore. It's killing them. It's killing them. Perhaps you have already made up your mind that you're not going to go back to this person. You're not going to accept them. This could be the other person that we picked up on earlier. They could be the same person as this person. Okay, whatever the case. I'm getting a new love situation coming in towards you within the next four months. Be prepared, guys. Open up. This could be something beautiful, okay? So, yep, that was our reading. Hope it resonated and helped you in some way. Much love and light. Take care. Bye.